ships carry goods from one port to another. They also carry the potential for ecological disaster. But this can be prevented. The shipping industry needs to take responsibility for the um, potential harms that it makes to the environment. There's lots of different uh, waste streams from a ship and it's important that the shipping industry sees their role in this and takes responsibility for reducing this potential harm. Ballast water is needed to stabilize a ship. It is pumped onto the ship in one port and discharged at another. But this water contains living organisms that invade local environments. Native species are wiped out. Pristine marine habitats are destroyed. In the um, mid-80s, 90s, the Australians, the New Zealanders, and some people here in America got very much into the issue of ballast water and, and what potential harm it could make. The so new species can wipe out existing species, and they can create imbalances in the ecosystem that it uh, receives it. Zebra mussels, carried in ballast water from Russia, invaded the Great Lakes in 1988. Today, the United States spends over $1 billion a year to keep the still ongoing situation under control. The ocean is our food chamber. That's why it's vital to us. We have used it as a dumping ground for centuries. Uh, that has to stop. And in the main, we are trying to help this by protecting marine life. Uh, we installed the first commercial system already in 2000. We have a robust system and we have earned the trust of uh, ship owners and yards around the world. So the way the system works is that uh, we connect into the ballast line after the pump, the ballast pump. There we have a very fine mesh filter that is uh, automatic and back flushing filter. Then it goes from that filter into a UV, ultraviolet light, which kills or eradicates the life. And then the ballast water goes into the ballast tanks. Then it stays into, in the ballast tanks for whatever time required. And when you discharge this water in the receiving environment, we go through UV a second time to make sure that there's no regrowth or, or other issues that have happened in the ballast tank. And that's how the system works. Optimarine uh, edge is to be a reliable partner to the ship owners, supplying a, an approved system that can handle all type of water on all type of ships all over the world. A lot of ship owners try to postpone the installation of these systems. The problem with postponing the installation is that in the end of the day, everybody need to install because the end date is 2024. And if all is waiting for the last moment, then there's no way to be able to install one of the ships. That's the challenge. The shipping industry is becoming more environmentally responsible in my view. The increased focus on the environment is forcing the shipping industry to take action. Global initiatives and the enforcement of international standards are also contributing to making the industry more sustainable. We also work with our customers very closely, providing them with 24-7 service and support. We are exploring how to use our technology and our system in new markets, such as biofouling and uh, fish farming. Optimarine uh, hopes to play an important role for the shipping industry to minimize the introduction of species and also to come up with other potential products that, that will help the environment reduce the harmful effects of shipping as a trade.